a West Texas A&M animal scientist, is working on better ways to predict and diagnose when feedlot cattle might be affected by a most complicated ailment, bovine respiratory disease, or BRD. It's extremely complicated because it involves, uh, you know, marketing stress, a lot of different stressors. Stress causes immunosuppression in cattle, and then it's very complicated because it's multifactorial from a pathogenic standpoint. So there's many viruses that are involved in the disease. One simple fact is, the earlier it's identified, the better BRD can be treated. That's why Feed Yards gives antimicrobial shots to each animal in a high-risk pen on arrival. It's a procedure called metaphylaxis, though only 20% of cattle benefit from the strategy. Richeson offers a better plan. Targeted metaphylaxis is, is conceptual at the moment, using some metric or a, or a group of metrics to try to predict whether an animal is going to be at greater risk for bovine respiratory disease. And we can make decisions, hopefully shoot side very rapidly. To determine which animals are or will be sick, the prediction metrics need data from observations and diagnostic tools to assess physical consumption and movement behaviors. All the options uh, have the advantage of monitoring cattle continuously. So 24 hours a day, seven days a week, an accelerometer and an ear tag or on an ankle bracelet or uh, a feeding behavior system. The technologies can find clinically ill cattle a day or two before the average pen rider, which allows more effective treatment. Feed yard teams are currently test driving several innovative programs. There's feed lots that are actually kind of beta testing the different technologies for companies as we speak. I think if and when the technology becomes widespread in the industry, I'll go back to return on investment. We just, we've got to do the research to understand how much value there is in utilizing this new way of diagnosing BRD before we're going to see widespread adoption. And so I think we're, you know, probably at least four or five years, probably before we do the research and understand that, uh, before we see a lot of widespread adoption. Data show sick cattle are less efficient on feed and earn lower quality grades at the packing house. So prevention is paramount. Cattle that are affected with bovine respiratory disease are behind their healthy pen mates. We can feed those cattle longer and try to recoup some of that lost performance. But the inflammatory response that occurs in response to a respiratory infection likely also affects marbling and fat deposition signals intermuscularly that probably reduce the grade potential regardless of adding extra days on feed in those particular cattle. That's why it's best to monitor and act before the disease has a chance to set in. I'm Bob Cervera.